Hi guys and good morning and welcome back to a new video on the channel. This week's video we're taking our freshly swapped E28 first time to the track and uh, I'm gonna show you how to prepare it. I need to stop. I've been doing too much, I've been running too fast, I've been testing my luck. I've been living cloud nine, I've been at it all night, I've been feeling so love. I've been waking up late, I've been making up shit, I've been spilling my guts. I've been feeling so blessed, but stressed all day, so I'm laying out my dreams like every night. So this being the first time I'm taking this car on track, it's a bit um, yeah exciting. When you're going on track, you need to make sure, obviously, that yeah the car is a bit in good shape. So um, I'm going to do a little bit of a bolt check here and there because I've driven the car only slightly since it was swapped, and I did not take off the yes yeah, any suspension components or such. So that should be fine. But like things like the transmission mount, uh, the drive shaft, those things, I'm going to check if they are still nice and tight. I don't want them to come loose on track. Then we're also going to check the fluids, uh, the oil, the coolant, make sure those are plenty, which should. I only recently filled the oil, but better check twice. I'm going to make a couple GoPro mounts on the car, the adhesive ones, one on the front uh, spo spoiler really down to ground should be really cool and i'm to see also looking to place one on the back so i can film the exhaust a little bit uh, so that i'm gonna do as well and uh yeah so tomorrow uh, i'm going to zolder circle of solder uh, just one hour not a full track day just one hour of racing um yeah and see how well the car does i think it's gonna do well but i'm a bit worried about the cooling I don't know how well that it's gonna hold up. So maybe in the future we'll have to install an electric fan or something, but uh, yeah, that we will, so, we will know soon enough. minutes later I installed one adhesive one in the back it's a little bit more obvious than I would have liked but yeah in a, f in a week time I won't notice anymore and then the one in the front right there I think right here because it's down low it will be really nice shots I hope <laughs> I hope it, is, it was worth it so that's that's done now um, I'm also gonna put one on my helmet about the helmet uh, yeah, that I still have to do and then uh, yeah as I said bolt check fluid check and uh, oh and the brakes also check if there are enough left on the brake pads there should be I hope so because I don't have other ones <laughs> but yeah normally I'll be fine so next up I uh, finally bought the whole mic setup for the GoPro, so the adapter with another adapter from uh, yeah the TRS things, and then a Bo Bo Boya yeah Boya microphone with a really long cable. That way I can film with the camera being on front of the car and I can mic up the exhaust. So uh, I'm gonna run the cable now and see how well. Well, I'm really curious how the sound is gonna be. I hope it's gonna be really good, but. Yeah, so let's see. I have uh, probably a little bit too high expectations. <laughs> we are actually on our way to the track right now with the E28. We're gonna drive on track for the first time. I'm a bit nervous. Uh, I hope the car is gonna hold up. I'm looking forward to it. The conditions aren't perfect. It's a bit wet. Um, so we'll see uh, how well the grip is. Just street tires, but uh, yeah, I'm excited. So uh, in about 20 minutes, we arrive there, and then uh, we. Uh, it's currently, I believe, 11:15, and we drive.
it from uh, from 1 to 2 p.m. So we got some time to prepare, to take uh, everything out of the car. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. when I went to the track that I actually um, the new microphone that I got you actually have to turn it on and I didn't really know it or I forgot it so the mic wasn't turned on so the the sound of the clips on track are yeah almost without noise or without um, yeah engine noise and such I've noticed that at some point it has picked up a little bit of an exhaust tone but I had to amplify um, the music through a website uh, well the sound so there's a lot of just noise on the track so I apologize for that from time to time there's a little bit engine noise and it sounds really good but uh, yeah that sucks I uh, yeah only saw it after uh, after editing so I was planning on putting just some exhaust clips uh, from the car into this video but the car actually broke down like over a week ago and I haven't found the culprit yet so uh, I haven't been driving it for the past two weeks so uh, it will be in the next video that I will put in finally some uh, proper exhaust tones that you can really hear what the, uh, the exhaust sounds like because it sounds really well, uh, really good. So uh, yeah, I apologize for that. So feel free if you, if you don't like watching it without sound, just skip to the end of the video. And uh, otherwise I'd say, uh, yeah, try to enjoy uh, the racing footage.
Alright guys, so here we are, we just finished our track session. So it's time for a good cold beer. So uh, yeah, it just started raining when we are finished, so that's, that's good. We didn't have to drive in the rain. I did have a, a small problem though, the car was actually too loud. So I got a warning first and then I had to go off. So the time I had to go off, um, the time was over. So uh, I had a little overheating issues as well. So I'm gonna have to install an electric fan, but other than that, the car did pretty good. The gearbox didn't break or something, so I'm happy. Uh, I took some lap times, I have to check them out. So uh, then I can compare them to other times. So uh, yeah, I'm happy, it was a good day. So uh, yeah, enjoy some more footage of some racing cars. Okay guys, so we had a little look around. They just stopped the track. I think something bad happened because the recovery trucks are going uh, out. So I guess someone has crashed in, uh, yeah, in a barrier somewhere. I would wait around to see, but yeah, I'm not really, a, how do you say that, a drama tourist or something. So uh, we're gonna head home now. And uh, yeah, I had a blast. It was a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, fortunately the car is just a little bit too loud. So I'm gonna see. Maybe turn the exhaust tips down to the ground. That might change uh, just enough. It was like, I believe, two or three decibels too much. So it's not that much. So I hope we can work around that. Um, for the rest, yeah, I heard some uh, a weird clicking noise when I shifted sometimes. So maybe something went bad there. But overall, I'm happy with the car. Uh, yeah. So uh, let's go home now. So I used my phone to record the uh, lap times on uh, the circuit of solar and uh, the best I could do was 2 minutes 22 uh, yeah 2 minutes 22 seconds and like 81 hundredths of a second or something it's a slow lap but uh, that was my best lap 2 weeks ago and so I'm gonna try to improve change the car a little bit each time and uh, I think it will be excited to see how much I can get out of the car and what my best lap time can be so this is gonna be the end of the video i hope you enjoyed and uh, i'll keep in mind next time to really use the microphone as it should and really make nice videos i'm also going to implement like the gopro uh, g4s and the speed meter but right now uh, yeah for some reason my pc couldn't handle it so i'm gonna figure it out hopefully by next video or at least uh, the next track day so thank you for watching and uh, yeah, please subscribe and see you next time. Peace.